Hi, my name's Rob from Go Mad Thinking, and I'd just like to spend the next few minutes just sharing what I believe are, are the top tips, four top tips for thinking differently, or what I call lateral thinking. Okay, so here we go with tip number one. Tip number one is about identifying those thoughts that might be holding you back. So we think to ourselves, or we have a little conversation with ourselves, and I know you all do, about every 11 seconds. Now imagine those thoughts being thoughts that are holding you back in relation to solving problems or coming up with new ideas. We call that hindering thinking. And hindering thinking looks like something you might say, I'm, I can't do that, I'm no good at that, or that's impossible. Or I, I can't think differently, I can't think creatively. Now, if you carry on thinking in that way, the actions that are likely to follow aren't gonna help you move forward to solving those problems or coming up with new ideas. So what I would encourage you to do is think a bit differently and turn those hindering thoughts into more helpful thoughts. Such as, I'm really good at thinking creatively, or I've done that before and it worked. Oh, it isn't impossible. It's, it's possible to come up with some solutions to that problem. Okay, so recognize your thoughts and identify those thoughts that might be holding you back. So tip number one, identify thoughts that might be holding you back. Tip number two is to find your own method or, or find the right environment for you to generate new ideas or create possibilities. So, some people like writing, drawing mind maps, drawing visuals, writing lists. Um, and if you're that type of person, then that's the right method for you. We, we encourage people to think possibilities. So possibility thinking is a great way to generate lots and lots of ideas to help you solve problems or deal with particular issues that you might be facing. And also, you might want to work in a different environment. So it might be that you um, you want to work away from the office or you want to work outside or in a totally different environment that where you normally uh, have to deal with particular issues. So tip number two, find the right method and environment that works for you. Tip number three is around involving other people. So when I talk about involving other people that's about who else or who in the whole wide world could you possibly involve to help you come up with some new ideas. Typically we will use people like family, friends, colleagues, but there's a whole world of people out there that could help you, who you could bounce ideas off, who you could use to help generate new ideas. So tip number three, involve other people. And the final hot tip, tip number four, is to break state. When I talk about breaking state, this means stopping what you're doing, because you might be involved in that problem, you might be sat in the office at work, and you, you can't find any solutions, or you've stopped your thinking. Stop what you're doing. Go off, do something else, go and get a coffee, go to the water cooler, go and speak to somebody about something completely different, and what you will find is that all of a sudden, some new ideas might come into your head. So, the final tip, tip number four, break state and go off and do something else.